Hello, my name's uh, Jeffrey Mark Matthews, and uh, I have two pieces in the show. Um, they both have a psychological dimension to them, and they both have an autobiographical dimension to them. But other than that, it's just me having fun with the materials to hand. And I very often will start a painting with an element of collage. So on this painting, for instance, there's an element of collage here, and the deck chairs, and um, that foot, <laughs> and the butterfly, uh, or moth rather. So those are elements of collage. And actually that's um, an old CD that um, I uh, managed to scrub to death to create a kind of moon, if you like. Um, but the rest of it is acrylic painting. And for the last 10 years, which is after I retired from being a lecturer, I went back to doing art full time. And that's 10 years I've been mainly using acrylic paints uh, in my paintings. So this one um, has the uh, title of The Axe Blow. And uh, it's a very English thing to have a pun or play at play of words. Uh, and that one is, um, picks up some language from jazz. Uh, and the axe is the musician's uh, favourite instrument. But the axe blow, as well as being blowing a saxophone, is also, of course, the notion of the axe blade coming down. Um, so there's that kind of play on words. And the, um, the portrait here, this is one of my oldest friends, and I've manipulated the image a great deal and put a, a saxophone into his hands. And that's all painted. Uh, he doesn't actually play the saxophone in real life. I've just turned him into a jazz musician. And the coastline here is the coastline of Yorkshire, which is my home county. You've got Spurn Point here at the bottom and Flamborough Head. And when I say autobiographical moments, um, from childhood I remember the Scorton Arrow archery competition and the first time I ever saw a lizard in, in the wild was on Spurn Point and it was one of these little green lizards. Uh, they're not very common uh, in this part of the world. Um, so, as you say, it's, it's a lot of fun. Sometimes other collage elements uh, come into play, like the armadillo here. And when I'm doing it, I have no idea what it, what it means. The working out what it means is making sense of it, and that's after the fact. Um, and that's fairly typical of what I do as well. So they're always a kind of puzzle. And I, I like that. I like people to puzzle over the pictures. If they're puzzling over it, they're looking at it for longer. And if they're looking at it for longer, who knows? They might grow to like it. <laughs> the smaller picture here is um, this is a, a, a self portrait, but from the rear. This is me with my sketching kit on my back, walking into the distance. This is a very romantic image, northern romantic image. Um, but it's really a, a, not a real landscape, it's like a dream landscape. Uh, hence this rather gigantic moon, which is um, overlaid with these fragments of uh, archaeological imagery, which all come from the same uh, journal. The museum's journal is the journal that museum professionals uh, um, subscribe to and I used to be a museum professional um, more than half a lifetime ago <laughs> and I still I'm still a member of the museum's association so I have all of this wonderful imagery to play with uh, every, every couple of months they deliver me another batch of imagery to play with so I really enjoy that are these two pieces traveling from here to another location? Uh, they've been exhibited once before, uh, these two. I had a, a small exhibition just before Christmas, uh, in, it was in November, 
uh, in the central library in Lincoln, which has a rather nice exhibition space. And it's underused, more artists could use it. And that has the advantage of a different kind of visitor. People who are visiting the library are not usually there primarily to see art, they're there to do something else. Uh, but it, it does mean that it's a fantastic place to sit and have conversations with visitors. So I, I did that for at least two days every week. My main reason for doing it. Thank you so much.